Okay, in this video, we're starting to we're starting to complete chapter. Uh, we're going to we're starting to complete chapter one. We're going to start exercise one D. We're going to start with question one. This is on page twenty eight of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. So there is the first question. It says, write these vectors in terms of i hat and j hat. You search form where possible, uh, given their magnitude and direction. So. Uh, let's do some of these. We don't need, don't need to do all of them because once you understand the uh, once you understand the basics of it, well then the rest doesn't change. So we're given what mag direction. So question. I'm going to do what ones? I'm going to do question one, uh, five, and six. So question one, we have two. 5 we have root 50, uh, 6 we have 12, east 60 degrees north, 39 degrees south of east and southwest. Now just a point to note here, southwest means 45 degrees. So. Let's go about doing this. We've got to do what? Now, once again, this is a continuation of theory that I've done in a good bit of detail. I've done it nice and slowly, and this is just the application of it. So I'm going to pick it up. Once again, if you don't understand it, put a comment in the video, or look at my uh, look at the actual tutorial videos where I went nice and slowly through it. So first of all, we draw our x and y axis, or x and y plane, otherwise known as your Cartesian plane. We draw our unit vectors, i hat and j hat. Now remember why we use i and j, as well as x and y, so that when we look at a particular number, we're able to work out what dimension or axis it's working in. And just a point, like, why do they call it i and j? Why not call it small x and small y? I don't know is the answer, and it's just basically, I suppose, because they wanted to, and they just wanted to make a difference. There's nothing wrong with calling it, for example, x and uh, y. There's nothing wrong with that, but we call it i hat and j hat. So, this vector here, vector 1, has got a magnitude of 2 units in a direction of east 60 degrees north. East 60 degrees north. So here's east. Remember if you have your compass, one second, moving my page, we have, there's your compass, n, s, e, w, Okay, that's exact. That's a Cartesian plane as well. So where's east? It's along the x-axis. So we go x. So it's east, 60 degrees uh, uh, north. East, 60 degrees north. East, 60 degrees north. So 60 degrees. Is it 60 degrees east of north or 60 degrees north of east? Just let me think now there for a second. No, it's. 60 degrees north of east. So we'll try that. We go here's east, draw a vector going towards north a small bit, its magnitude 60 degrees. Now once again we drop our perpendiculars or we resolve our vector here into its component parts. This should be nothing new to you. I've done this I'd say at least 20 times. So we have adding vector x plus vector y here like that gives you my resultant vector. It's the same thing as just dropping your perpendiculars. Alright, just like that. Its magnitude is what? Its magnitude is two units. Now, what we're doing next is exactly what was done in exercise 1c, and it should be very straightforward to you. 2 sine 60 is that length. 2 cosine 60 is that length. So we're asked to find the uh, the value of our resultant vector in terms of its component vectors i and j. But look, the answer to that is that's the i hat because that's going in the i hat direction. This is the j hat direction. So the answer to that we'll say uh, we'll call it vector vector a is equal to what? Vector a is equal to two cosine sixty i hat plus 2 sine 60 j hat. Now how do you know they're both plus? 
We know both plus because if you remember the quadrants, you have plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, and plus, minus. So here both cos and sine are plus. Here, well, look, cosine goes from this direction to that direction. That becomes minus, whereas the y doesn't change. Sine and cosine, the, 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 uh, the direction of your unit vectors changes. Here, both of them are minus. You have minus this side, minus this side. And here, you're plus in the i and minus in the, uh, in the j. So let's just check that in the back of the book to see if I'm correct. Question 1D. So i hat plus root 3j hat. i hat plus root 3j hat. Well, you know something, it could be, uh, it could be that I haven't closed it for, I haven't uh, made it as simple as you can. Cost 60, if you look on page 13 of your new tables, Cos of 60 is a half, so 2 times a half, i hat, plus the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2, 2 times root 3 over 2, and we get like that, okay, and you get a hat is equal to, sorry, a, the vector a is equal to i hat, plus root 3 j hat, as we saw in the book. We'll do do part do part uh, five. So you have a magnitude of root fifty and a direction a direction of what southwest. So draw your vector by drawing your x y plane or your uh, your x y axis or your Cartesian plane. Like that to find your unit vectors i hat and j hat like that so in this case we're going southwest now in a previous video I made a mistake where I confused west with east so we'll look remember again just draw your compass n s e w so west is that direction there so we're going south of west like this southwest gives you an angle of 45 degrees like that the magnitude of your vector is what? It is root 50. So, what do we do? We do the same thing as we've always done. We, we put our, you find the component vectors of this resultant vector. We find the ones that, we'll say, this is vector x. We want what, it will say x is equal a plus b is equal to x. We have x, so we want to find out a plus b. They're the component vectors or the component unit vectors so loads of ways of looking at it once again you can drop your per perpendicular like that or you could say well then it's a certain amount in the, the j hat direction and a certain amount in the i hat direction with a 90 degree angle there they're all the same thing so what do we know excuse me now i didn't mean to do that we know what we know that this is 45 degrees we know the magnitude is root 50 we use sakatoa Right, so we know that sine is opposite, so if you're looking at this angle, this side here is opposite, so this is root 50, sine, 45, this one here is root 50, cos, 45. So, it's time to get the, the signs right. So here, i and j are both plus. Here, i is negative, j is positive. Here, both are negative. Here, is i is positive, j is negative. So, we are in this quadrant here, so both are negative, so we do, we have the magnitudes already, we know that the magnitude is, the magnitude is 50 cos 45 in the i direction, and 50 sine 45 in the j direction, so we're going to call the vector x is equal to minus, because it's in the minus quadrant, root 50 times the cosine of 45 minus root 50, times the sine of 45, like that. Look in your log tables on page 13, and you're going to get that the sine and cosine of 45 are uh, 1 over root 2. So you get minus root 50 over root 2, minus root 50, root 2, minus minus, minus. you're going to get minus 
2, root 50, oh, you can't do that, sorry, I didn't put in my unit vectors, that was very silly of me moving too quickly, that's i hat, that's j hat, and the reason you can't add them is because they're in different directions, so that would be, uh, that would be what, root 25, so the answer would be x is equal to root 25 minus root 25 i hat minus root 25 j hat.